Today, I'm joined by Saito Sets. Hello, what's up and welcome. Today, or last time, um, Misaki hugged us. Yes, and it was a little embarrassing moment, or... It was cute. It's yeah. cute. It's cute. Uh, I actually realized we are soon done with the Misaki. Yeah. So I still think it's a little strange, like, Misaki only has like six or seven chapters, and then... Well, we are six, and the next uh, couple of chapters is gonna go... Oh, okay. Remember, like, Mitsuros also went like. Oh, yeah, right, they went back, yeah. As I envisioned that relaxing scene soon enough, Monoclasses came to an end. Oh, shit. What the fuck? As I, uh, I was sp spending lunch today with Misaki and Michirai, Michiru, I had a feeling that they'd be doing that more often from now on. After eating, there was a little conversation about what to do after class. They both reminded me to hang out. <laughs> Yeah, Humphrey. I want to ask her about violin practice, but of course she was the one person who would have taken that more into consideration than anyone else. In other words, right now, this outing was more important. <laughs> mm -hmm. For the first time in quite a while, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Ah, <laughs> you can see the small power. <laughs> yeah. All that practicing was still a secret between me and Misaki, so I still had to do my best to keep it under wraps. Though the longer we kept it a secret, the more suspicious people would end up getting. Yeah, of course. Michu, Michu must be having a laugh back and like she's gonna sell us out or something. <laughs> anyway, I'm fine with later. Yeah, scene uh, change! Scene change again. That was a yeah. quick ass scene change. <laughs> And after class, as soon as someone remember, I grabbed my bag and called out to Didi. And we talked about it over lunch break, so you won't need to uncover the meter room today. <laughs> How did it come to this? <laughs> you know I can't call it a harem if it's just two people. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, that's fine. Fuck. No. <laughs> Fuck yes. <laughs> Drop the breast jokes already. The one was so bad. It was so bad. It's quite a pity in itself. <laughs> Besides, why are you even chatting me up about lollies anyway? <laughs> well, duh. Hell, it's not like a one-year age difference that far off from being the same age anyway. <laughs> Yeah. Would you kindly take yeah. your assumptions that I'm even trying to make a hero at all and shove it up your ass? <laughs> and besides, those two have bigger rags on them than you anyway. So we were being uh, we were being much. The rumor of uh, my mill's gonna be pretty active while no soldiers and bullshit smoke. Like, that was the problem here to start with. <laughs> <laughs> no problem at all, it's anime. It's, <laughs> it's all in fun. It's fine, it's fine. Yeah. 
しかして待ってたドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥン <laughs> Tomorrow's totally gonna suck. <laughs> <Yeah> . I couldn't get my get my Kodos intense laser focus glare out of my head. <laughs> oh, I'm feeling well. How considerate of them. It's not a kind of exhaustion. I'm fine. Hell, it's a kind of exhaustion I want to forget about right now. So let's get going. But now that I've been spotted, I'm just gonna have my ass run rag even more now. <laughs> Staying gloomy wouldn't have uh, done them any good, so I had to put myself together. So, what's our destination? <laughs> we haven't really decided. Judging from the discussion, it wasn't like they hadn't uh, discussed what to do at all. It was more like they hadn't agreed on what to do yet. <laughs> I guess they must have been talked there, you know, what during break period, like good friends. They'll probably end up dropping you into it too. I'll have to thank her next time. I'm fine with that. I don't really need to buy anything, so I'll just tag along. <laughs> But Michiro, wouldn't you rather go somewhere else bustling there than that? <laughs> yeah. That's a good. That's good. <laughs> of course, heck, I can't leave you to your own devices in a crowded place like that to start with. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> Upon hearing the Saga's accusing voice, I fell a shiver down my spine. For me, she acted as if she didn't concern her at all. Oh, shit. Oh, that was it. 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 Oh, my God. That, that, that is not at all the slightest, you know. Ha, ha, ha. Ah, uh, yeah, right. The way she's saying it, them, them spiting word. Yeah. <laughs> I'm definitely not in the mood for having a girl on each of my arms right now. <laughs> Incidentally, Misaki's request was to hold my hand, not my arm. Yep, being in a mixed gender group of people who are all <laughs> ostensibly <laughs> flirting with each other really is suffering. Okay, well, mm -hmm. scene change. Mm -hmm. And now we're at the mall. <gasps> Quang! <laughs> <It's been laughs> yeah. Quit calling it a date. <laughs> With a lone third wheel accompanying? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. As they continue to banter like that, we continue walking around brushing around the shops. Since Michio and Misaki were definitely a rare pair of pretty young things, they drew a lot of attention for that. And of course, I got a lot of attention as well for being with them. <laughs> definitely not the good kind of attention. <laughs> oh, please just let it be as siblings. I couldn't exactly say I was subjecting to the, the state of affairs, but I didn't want people to think of me as a player or anything. <laughs> <laughs> Misaki, it's not like I think you're untrustworthy, okay? But we're not just walking to school here, we're in a crowded spot right now, so if, uh, things could get dangerous for <laughs> <laughs> oh. Watching them carrying on like that was heartwarming. <laughs> well, at least it was when I was just a casual observer. Being uh, stuck in the middle of, with them was making me nervous. Mm -hmm. My god. Looking <laughs> back with the benefit of hindsight, maybe it would have been better for me to break away from them after all. 
That thought occurred to me after a few minutes later, having ended up in front of a store which specialized in underwear and other things like today. <laughs> what sort of underwear do you feel is best suited to me? <laughs> Somehow, I don't feel like her eyes look like her own eyes right now. I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, <laughs> you way too freaky to Look at fucking Michiro's eyes. She looks like she's about to shoot laces. Yeah. What the, hell what the hell kind of discussions are they having? Kidding me? I wanted to uh, warn them to watch themselves, but they definitely didn't want to draw even more attention to us right now. But I couldn't just hang back from them either. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on! How am I supposed to get a word in that conversation? Uh, ends up uh, going there. Ah, oh, Christ, if you just let DDP run away out. Besides, they should just uh, opt to choose themselves from the start anyway. <laughs> yeah. I have missed you, bro! <laughs> One's taken off, yeah. You could uh, read the situation if it bit you in the ass, you know that. In any case, didn't think you'd pop up, uh, uh, up here. Are you following me? Hmm. I guess I wasn't just seeing things. But seeing her looking to Jewel, I turned away wishing I was seeing things. <laughs><笑><笑> それに、言うではありませんか。女は見られて、美しい関係を進めてからにした方が。Yes, <laughs> <laughs> I was on the verge of giving in as I was trying to ignore the situation. I wish she stopped looking at me. I won't be able to refuse if she gave me a big soul for lies routine. Oh, uh, why don't we stop for a little rest? There's a cafe over there. ご休憩ですか? <laughs> Don't, Saito. Yep, better not say anything uh, to that. If I resort it as per usual, this conversation will probably end up going on forever. And so my wallet had to take one for the team. It was all in the name of changing the duration of conversation. Well, I've been planning to treat both of them to start with anyway. Since Misaki and Michiru stopped battering it, it appeared my good intentions had bought food. Unfortunately, both of them ended up trying to feed me into this. <laughs> oh, shit. Is that the accident? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I wouldn't have been wise to stick around for too long. Too left the cafe. And I assure you, that had absolutely nothing to do with me uh, not being able to stand the glare so everyone shot at us. Is there anywhere, anywhere else you would like to go? As long as it's somewhere, I won't have any problems showing my face in. Misaki raised her hand, and when I see you just come up with an idea. <laughs> oh shit. And that idea was to shoot me away out of the nowhere. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Giving how many says, scanning remarks I got subjected to in my daily life, I was just about to at the end of my wits. Well, I guess I can just wander around here a bit. Okay, be careful. <laughs> Puffing out uh, after her cheeks in a child's manner to mask her embarrassment, Saki followed along with Mr. Slow Gate. Watching both of them walking off like that made me think, damn, they really do have good chemistry.
But even so, today, so Mitchell was shared to some psyche at every side to send out an opportunity to do so. And it was fun to get a rise out of the psyche and see how she reacted, but she seems to have some kind of ulterior motive. For example, trying to cheer on Misaki and me. She must have been exploiting Misaki's jealousy to also, in order to help Misaki overcome her own embarrassment. That didn't even really seem to be a breach either. After all, it was Mitsuru's partnering that allowed us to hold hands earlier this morning. Still, we had to save the real deal for after that contest. I guess Misaki's frustration must be piling up on her or something. But I suppose she put Mitsuru aside. She probably wants to tell her, don't push your luck, Missy, or something like that. If that's her intention, she must be letting the dogs of war all loose. Since I had the time, I figured maybe I could go and buy some sweets for the two of them. I didn't think they were having a serious fight or anything, but if uh, things were ever get, did came to that, the route to resolving things would undoubtedly through their stomachs. <laughs> <laughs> At last, you're you and I, yeah? Oh, stop it. The way you're born, uh, wording that makes it sound like I'm on a date with you or something. My guilt about leaving the to her own devices was public to her surface. This just makes me feel lonelier. If anything, Crow was the one getting worked up. She was uh, okay, chasing after a little girl holding a balloon. <laughs> For crying out loud, who's the real child in this situation? Yeah. <laughs> just imagine Crow fly after a girl. Yeah. You, you. All the same, I couldn't help but continue to watch that heart of all inside. I'm still intent to buy something for Didi though. The way you worded that doesn't really sound right to me. <laughs> I walked through the crowd with Crow following along beside me. Since it wasn't working day, there was a lot of people around, but thanks to that, I was able to talk to Crow without uh, sticking out very much. But I still figured it was a better idea to go somewhere with less people around. Thus, we headed in the direction of the park. Huh? However, I sense a strange atmosphere from the people around. There was a large crowd there, and the atmosphere oh. seems to weigh heavy with uneasy. Something is so bad. Nodding in response to a crossword, I made hasty moving towards the middle of where, of where the commotion was. And... and no, no, we shall not cliffhang them like this, okay? Okay, yeah, yeah, no, we have a little time. And that's when I saw it. <laughs> a flowing river of red. A girl sparish ball upon the ground. There was no way in hell she had thrown herself there. Of her own volition, arms and legs outstretched, hair disheveled, clothes stained with the vivid color of red. The river red continued to pull around her. Misaki was saying something. She was streaming down her face. I had to comfort her. I collapsed to my knees beside them and held out my hand. I felt the warmth of her palm, the dying warmth of her palm. Oh, the yeah. stairs were vexed and empty, but there was no doubt she had recognized me. The red flower which lay bl blooming upon the ground somehow, but just barely managed to open those lips which were losing their color. M Michiro? Michiro was collapsed on the ground in a pool of blood while Misaki was hysterically sobbing about how she had suffered uh, a concussion and considering how serious it looked that meant she was going to... At the very instant those words fell upon my ears, my body took action without even thinking. Doing. Yep. Good thing we have that. Huh? That wasn't a daydream. I was having just now, was it? <laughs> Crow? <laughs> no more than five minutes until. What's that thought crushed my mind? I finally snapped out of my days and been there. Where's Michiru? Uh, is Max uh, is that alright? <laughs> So that was it. I found myself uh, remembering at the time when Misaki was nearly hit by a bike. I said, what was uh, it I dare uh, to do? There was barely any hesitation of, uh, uh, in the thought between the question and its answer. Wiping out my phone, I hit Misaki's name on the speed dial and frantically waved through the crowd of people. I was so angry at myself for neglecting the principle that this uh, might happen. That I was uh, to continue to ring without an answer was piling up outside as well. If I was just able to give Misaki some kind of warning- Misaki, where the hell are you? If you're taking Michiru somewhere, try to steer and stay clear of large crowds when you're with her. And if you do end in a crowd, don't just hold her hand, you need to link arms with her. And another thing, try to watch out from user, uh, for your surroundings too, especially bikes. Oh yeah, you're right. 
けどあちょっとミチル後で変わってあげるから待ちなさい Though the former receiver could hear the two of them battering lively, lively said the relief I felt upon learning which was safe、uh, when the hand in hand with the extreme exhaustion I felt from running like this. I was ready to collapse right there on the spot. I felt beyond pathetic, but as long as I had prevented the accident from. Dong dong dong. Oh shit. Ha! Michiro! Misaki! The commotion from、uh, them reached me.、Uh, me. My response did not reach them. Just imagining the scene that came to mind again made my needles buckle. Restraining any trace of co cowardice, trying to show proof as if my own life was at stake, I kicked the ground as hard as I could, bursting into a spin almost worthy of metal. Showing、uh, my way through the car, coming to a point of scene. Thanks for watching, guys! <laughs> See you guys next time! Bye! <laughs>